name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another episode of Tips, Review, and Tutorial. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell all so you'll get notified every time I upload videos on app reviews, tech tutorials, teaching tips, and reading readiness. Hello! So I am currently working on my Teach Writing with Sight Words booklet. This is another booklet that I'm going to be launching, so watch out for this one. And I'm trying to come up with uh, fonts or an activity where students can trace uh, the proper letter strokes. But then there's nothing on the font selection of Google Docs. So I found out something that's very useful. If you add on the extension called Extensis Fonts. There they have tons of fonts that you can choose from. So how do you add that font? So go to Extensions. Sometimes it's called Add-ons. Click Add-ons. Get Add-ons. And search for Extensis Fonts. So there you go. It automatically pops up. And this is how it looks like, Extensis font. So just click that one. And since I have installed it already on your browser, if it's your first time, it should be install. So click that install button and then it will automatically appear on your extension. So how do you use that? Go back to your Google Docs, click on the extension button on your toolbar and it will appear at the bottom. So this, this one, Extensis Fonts, just click Start. It loads a bit longer because of the tons of uh, fonts that are here. And there you go. You will find every font that you are looking for. So as for me, I'm looking for um, the dotted lines or the tracing dots. Now, there are two kinds here. You might be confused. So one dotted fonts is called uh, Cody stars. But then the Cody star are all capital letters. Okay. So if you don't want that, uh, you can go all the way to the end and look for railway road. There you go. Railway no, not railway road. It's railway dots. I'm sorry. So let's try railway dots onto this letter. So just highlight that one and click the font. Okay, there you go. So letter A. Okay, now here's the thing. Once you use the dots on this extension, it will automatically go to your font selection on your Google Docs. So here's the railway road here, as you can see. It wasn't there um, earlier. Now, this is another font that I'm going to be using, the Londrina outline, so that uh, you can have your students trace inside the letter. So I'm going to use that also for one of the sight words tracing. So there you go. It's a game changer for me. This is something that you can also use for your tracing, for your name tracing, or for your letter tracing. So, and there are a lot of uh, cool fonts in here. So let me just show you that it automatically goes to your selections. Now look at Quigley. I'm going to look at my selection to show you that there's no Quigley on this list of fonts. Now if I use it for my activity, okay, there you go. You'll automatically see Quigley on your list of fonts. Okay, So that's also one way of adding fonts to your Google Docs manually though. Okay, I hope this helped and go ahead and explore this extensive font. It's really amazing. It's a game changer for us teachers, especially preschool teachers, if you need the dotted lines for your tracing. Okay, thank you very much. And if this was helpful, please go ahead and give this video a 
like and do subscribe for more videos like this thank you very much and have a great day bye